Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk a bit more about what to do if your skin breaks down underneath your ostomy and how to put on a new bag over top of that skin breakdown and to make that ostomy bag last. That's what we're talking about today. I hope you guys are ready. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of when I upload and let's get talking about it. I have talked a bit in the past about skin breakdown with an ostomy and why and how this happens. I will link that video in the description box down below so you, oh my god. Can you see Harley? Look at her little paw. <laughs> She's a little misfit. Let's let her in. Here she goes, little bug. I have talked in the past <laughs> about why skin will break down underneath your ostomy, how this happens. I will link that video in the description box down below so you guys can either check that out first or after this video, but I will talk about some key points in this video. So if you're watching this first, you'll understand kind of why and how that happens. So let's kind of begin. Now, when it comes to an ostomy first, if you're going to have an ostomy take place, and you're just wanting to know for the future what an ostomy is. There's really two types of ostomies that you kind of want to know about, which is an ileostomy and a colostomy. There's other ostomies, but for the sake of this video, those are the two you're going to want to know. So both of those is where they take a part of the intestine. A colostomy is the large intestine, and the ileostomy is the small intestine, which the ileostomy is the kind I have. They take that part of the intestine and bring it surgically to the abdomen and stitch it to that abdomen and place a ostomy bag over top of it and this collects your stool and you will empty it and that's how you go to the bathroom. So they can be temporary or permanent. I have a permanent ileostomy and this is actually my third ostomy. I had two other ones that were temporary. They can also be placed at any parts of your abdomen. I had one on my right side of my abdomen, my lower abdomen like right on the belt line, and on the other side right on the belt line. Skin breakdown. Things to know about the ostomy bag. There's a two-piece bag which comes with this wafer. I don't have a two-piece bag so I'll explain it. So that comes with a wafer and then it'll have the bag and you clip it onto the wafer and how you can go to the bathroom is taking off the bag from the wafer and emptying the bag from the bottom part. When you have a one piece bag like this one right here, you just, it'll be folded like this. You will undo it, unfold this down and open this up and it'll come down. So that is the points of the bag to know. Now, when you are wearing this bag, stool will eventually seep underneath this bag, this wafer. And when stool hits your skin, it is very acidic and it will eat at your skin. You are supposed to change your bag every, well, it says five to seven days, but when you are having skin breakdown, it is best to change it every three to five days until your skin breakdown is healed. So that acidity will eat at your skin and cause that skin breakdown. Now another reason why your skin may break down is because you're allergic to one of the products you're using. Sometimes you will have to use one of those products, like for example, this is a medical adhesive. I am actually allergic to this. It eats at my skin. But I have to use this, so this product makes your skin and your wafer very sticky. The way my stoma is, 
it has a bit of a dip and I have to use some kind of adhesive to make my bag last those five to seven days or it's just going to come off immediately. Fortunately, I have to use a product like this. So that means I have to play with skin breakdown. I have to change my bag more frequently than normal. So that is another reason why you may have skin breakdown. First, I will kind of show you a picture of what skin breakdown looks like so you can kind of have a good look at what it looks like, but any kind of redness is an early stage of skin breakdown, very itchy skin, very raw skin, even blood, um, sores are skin breakdown, things of that nature. So when you start feeling itchiness under your bag, normally that means the integrity of your bag is broken. So that is kind of the indication that you need to change your bag soon. Now, let me show you how I deal with skin breakdown. So what you're seeing right now is an early stages of skin breakdown, really red, raw looking skin. Now, a few products I personally use and would recommend you to use when it comes to dealing with skin breakdown is, of course, so a few of these don't have a lid right now because I was changing my bag just recently. So this is the best cream to deal with skin breakdown. And I will show you how to use that. An ostomy nurse is going to recommend you using stoma powder but me personally, I can't use Soma powder because my bag will just come up really easy. So in the demonstration I'm going to show you, you're not going to see me personally using Soma powder. But a ostomy nurse, they are called WOC, Wound Ostomy Continence Nurse. They will recommend you to use Soma powder over top of that. Then you're going to want to use a elastic barrier strip and they look like this. They are incredible, and I'll show you how to use them. And then a medical adhesive, as well as paste. And I'll tell you how all of this will help. So those are going to be very important into helping you get through skin breakdown, as well as cleaning around your ostomy site when you're changing your bag. I feel like that is something that I wasn't told about for a long time. I just didn't think about it because I have wipes that takes off the adhesive remover spray and the paste and everything and I always use that to wipe around my stoma and then I go straight into using my products. And it wasn't until recently was I told that cleaning with soap and water around your ostomy is very important because that is getting that stool and all that stuff that is being left behind off. So really cleaning that area is very important. So you're going to take the elastic barrier strips. You're not going to use the straight ones. You're going to use the half circle ones and you're going to measure how much you need according to how and where the breakdown is and you're going to cut it to size. This is going to cover up that breakdown and stop it from getting worse. So it's going to kind of put a barrier between the wafer and the breakdown. Then you are going to take that cream I told you about earlier and put a very thin layer all around where the breakdown is. This is going to really help heal that breakdown. As you can see, I'm putting it really all over, but especially where the breakdown is. And now I'm going to take the adhesive spray and I'm going to put it all around my ostomy site to help 
my barrier strips to stay on over top of the cream because if you just put the barrier strips over top of the cream it will come off and that tissue paper is to stop it from going down past the ostomy site. Now after you let that adhesive spray sit for a little while and get really tacky you're going to take the elastic barrier strip and put it where the breakdown is so it is again going to protect that breakdown and allow it to heal underneath your wafer. So you can put it all around just wherever you need to protect. Make sure you really stick it good. So then you're going to take that medical adhesive spray and put it on top of those elastic barrier strips so the bag can stick to those barrier strips and you're going to let that get tacky as well. So now you're going to take your bag that has paste on it and also that adhesive spray and you're going to stick it over top of your stoma and stick it down really good and hard. You're going to peel back the peel around it, the paper around it and you're going to really want to hold this against your skin for a good two minutes and you are all set. So push down really nice and good. That is going to help stop the breakdown and really allow it to heal doing all of that and as well as cleaning around the area and changing it every three to five days. That breakdown will heal and do not itch that area because that's only going to make it bleed and get worse. And I know how hard it is to not itch because ooh, that itching feels so good but it only makes it worse. So I also want to mention Yes, if you hit your stoma, it will bleed, be full of blood vessels and everything. It's a very sensitive organ because that is the inside of your intestine. But if it, profuse, if it profusely bleeds, then that is something wrong. So changing it every three to five days, all that will help the breakdown heal. Also, I wanted to give a little tip that there is always this little filter on your bags that is a, a lot of times I find will be a place that stool will leak from so if you take a piece of the elastic barrier strip and put it on top of that spot it will stop the bag from leaking through that little area so those are my tips that I learned quite recently sometime around last year so I also want to say that if your stoma bleeds at any point, very lightly, you may hit it. It is full of blood vessels. It is the inside of your organ. That can happen. That is a normal thing, but if it profusely starts to bleed, then go to see the doctor. So that is what I have for you guys today. I hope that helps anybody out there. Let me know if you guys have any other tips to share. Leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're going to try this. I'd love to hear how it helps you or if it don't. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well and I'll see you guys in the next video.